happy, happy weekend holiday or holiday weekend, however you want to put it. And we all know I am curious. And this weekend we are going to do a ramp up to chapter four, Age of War. Because it is going to be here on Tuesday. Now this stream is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to switch in midstream over to live. Because right now I am standing in beta. One second. I forgot to grab my stream buddy. And she's back here squeaking in her crate. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. So, we are doing, right now, you can see that I am standing on my, uh, the top of my, <laughs> I'll show you. I am standing on the top of the original purge build that I built over here in Beta. So, we're going to talk about the purges at the moment. So, Right now, they are going to have expanded purges. And the expanded purges have, they have uh, golems, they have thieves, they have the sorcerer that's going to rain down star, uh, star metal on us, like they do up north. Um, and they're going to have the Stygian champion. So, what you're going to want to do is either build a new base or make sure your base that you have currently is ready for the purge. So, I will go ahead and get a video out of this build. Or I actually may have one out, but not how I built it. But we know that this one will withstand it because when beta first came out, I did this one as a as a purge and on stream. We uh, went through several purges and saw that it will work. So this is a. I'm going to go up as high as I can get up here. You can see that this is completely a square with a pyramid in the middle and a little par pyramids on the outside. What that square is in the back back there is a makeshift tavern. Has the ballista over here on the side and it has room on the outside for your uh archers and the burning oil i can't remember the names but you have plenty of space i can't remember right off the top of my head and i should have counted before stream but i didn't it's either 20 or 21 let's see one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I can't count real quick. Hold on. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 16, 17, 18, 19. It's 23 by 23 by 23 by 23. It's 23, I'm not sure. With each one of these is 9. With the middle being in the middle. Coming at each one coming out in the middle. Now you can always take and make this smaller or larger, however you need to. Uh, and 
these are hollow uh, the stairs they are hollow what one looks like on the inside these are ceilings on top and then just stairs up with ventilated walls and the regular little walk out things and uh what you want to make sure is you always have at least one door or a gate up this one will not take a gate For some reason anytime i put a gate in here it stopped the purge so it for, for me it would stop a purge maybe for you it won't but for me it stopped a purge and then in here this is a interesting little pyramid it's not your typical pyramid on the inside uh Trying to get rid of the. Let's walk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the inside, the double door. And you can walk all the way around on the inside with your the outside and then right here is a door for your dude for your treasure guy and you can fill this thing up with treasure put two guards on the outside and you're good to go and it has stairs leading up to your bedroom and I like skylights up in mine. And you just, you can basically adjust this to however you need. But it works well. And I did this one with uh, Frontier and, uh, what do you call this? Storm glass. Um, but I now have the Aesir and I may do that. Um, my Red Nails team, and I do call them a team over on my server because each player has a voiceover on, on that server. <laughs> All of them have a voice. I don't just say, hey, this is what's going to happen. Uh, if you hop in the Discord over there, you'll see that there is a forum where they can say, hey, can we have this, this mod? And we will go and check and see if that mod can possibly be put in. At the moment, we are holding off putting any mods in until how see we see how bad the mods we have are going to blow up after Tuesday. So, but we are building a list. We may get rid of some of the ones we have. We may pull in new ones, but we're uh, checking on that. Um. So, this is this is basically the 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 build, and it does a really really nice purge. You can add Lista on one side and the Trebuchet on the other, and it works well. You can put tons of thralls up and around as you can see as plenty but as many or as little thralls as you need and when this does come down they will take care of everything in here i put a few golems on the inside because the golems have so much hp that they take care of what's coming in And all of the thralls that are right here, 
usually take care of what's there. The thralls I run with, I do not use on my perch. I don't want them to die. So I put them in the treasure room usually. So, with that being said, they are making, with some of the changes that they are making to the thralls, uh, there have been some worries and considerations and stuff, and we don't know uh, if the bearers are going the problems with the bears that there are now are going to make it into live or not but their bears hp are going to be dropping and if you have a specific thrall like i do i do poor jenna over on my server she's just i'm, I'm going to be so upset if this makes it into it, because Jenna's HP is like three grand. So, uh, how low that's going to drop, I'm not sure. But the Berserkers are still going to be really good, and I've heard devotees are going to be really good, because they have high health and uh, a damage output as well. So you might want to use stock up on those uh for those uh but maybe a good redesign of your base is going to be in order for these um i'll be doing streams on purges in the future just after four stop starts uh on this type of build and uh, there will also be possible videos as well uh, I plan on taking and doing a special purge base that me and my red nails team uh, our, our server is called red nails or Zotokana, or something like that. I can't pronounce it right now. But we just call it the Red Nails. Um, but the Red Nails team and I are going to take and do server purges where we all gang up and do a purge together. So if you want to take and run a purge with us, you're more than happy to. Um, our XP is, ganging is really high. Uh, they joined uh, shortly before Purple Day, which was on the 26th. And the two that have joined and stayed with us uh, are already level 60. So, and they haven't played that much. But yeah, they're already level 60. So your XP gain would be really good. So, uh, there's that. Um, any other... Uh, don't hesitate to ask questions, people. I mean, you sit there, you don't ask questions, you might not know. Okay. I've gone over that, and I've gone over that. They are doing the Battle Pass upgrade. That is something else you'll want to go into. Now, with the Battle Pass upgrade they have done, there's only going to be three challenges you have to do now, which will give you... Oh, there. Uh, give you more uh, XP towards the challenges to get more reward. And you'll feel like you're doing more reward instead of more of a grind for them. And 
whatever you kill, whatever you gra gather, or whatever you craft will go towards the rewards for your battle pass, which is uh, kind of nice, I think. So, uh, I think that was, that's a very good thing as well. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I call, cover all my notes. You never want to forget something when you're trying to get things out. But this is a very sturdy, sturdy build. As you can see, it has plenty of room for everything. Uh, I'm in the middle of redesigning my base at home. It's nowhere near like this. It's... <laughs> I should have built it like this, but it would it wouldn't have everything I want to have and need. I'll probably build a little tiny smaller one of this because I've already forgotten to put my treasure spot in there. So I'm gonna have to build a little a little section off to the side for this. So. Uh, That's uh such a pretty sight. Tidy books and coffers grounded with glittering gold. That's there. Um in a few moments I will take and switch over to live. Uh unless somebody has a question about anything else here. Now, with the purges here, you do need to make a tavern uh, because of the uh, oh, big boy. Uh, <laughs> I forgot he was standing there. Um, because of the uh, the sacred event, which is how you'll get him. Uh, the sacred event that comes up, you will need that because Zil, the wanderer here, you will get him and he will teach you a way and then eventually you'll get him. So, yeah, that's that. And you see light way over there in the distance from right here where you'll go for that and if you're wondering where we are at i build right here in e7 right outside the gate of uh Undead City, which is also not too far from Sep. All right, and uh, oh, Iron Breaker Ridge and Rhino Horn Pass, or I think that's it, Rhino Horn Pass, or something else. And it's a whole bunch of goody stuff. All right, even the uh, Silver Mine's not too far from here. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's really nice, and you even have the the springs up here if you need some uh, can't even I can't think today, <laughs> but like everything is around in here, 
You've got these springs here, you've got those springs there. That is not going to be too far away, and there's the dogs of the desert. So, everything's really easy to get done. So, uh, that's how that'll be. Oh, and that's where that is. That's where my other current base is. This is one of my favorite spots to build because, as you can see, there's nothing really around. Um, the There's the gates. Uh, right there is the scorpion, a big scorpion. And... Uh, I think my base is actually my base on this server is actually over a little bit, but uh, there's that scorpion there, and uh, there's all and there's that Maru up there, and everything is just it's plenty plenty big. Yeah, my current base is over this way a little bit. But as you can see, it's a big base, and it's very, very, very easy to uh, build. It's simple. I think it took me a, a day or less to get built. But we can always add more to the body. And uh, it's not hard at all. It's very, it's structurally sound, and uh, I think the worst that has been done is part of this was taken down. Um, and maybe part of this was taken down when the golems came through. That's about it. That's about all I've had to pick back up, and I had to put this door back in once, and that was about it. When I was running, running those. So, I think the only other thing I might change is instead of putting that in, I'd build another tavern over there. That was the house I built before I started doing that, and it was quick and dirty and ugly. So, yeah, that's, you know, basically what would be done with that. All right, so if you will give me a chance to, I'm going to do a server change over to live, and then we'll go through all the huge big other list. Well, it's not really a big other list, but I'll give you a whole other list of stuff to, that you can, uh, that you might want to do before, uh, the uh before tuesday so give me just a second i'm gonna throw a screen up here so you don't have to watch me changing everything so give me just a moment i'm still here don't worry i'm just changing over to you know, the other game or to live Thomas, I haven't left you. <laughs> I will not leave. I'm just pulling the other game up. It's just taking it a second for some reason. I guess it's because of the mods. That and going from one to the other, I guess. Lord, usually it doesn't take it even this long. I promise it's going to come up. Because I see the launcher in front of me. You tell me I'm going to have to turn that off and turn it back on again. Uh-huh. Turn it off and on again.
It's working. It's usually not this bad. I may not do this again. <laughs> there we go. It's coming up now. I'll see if I can get it to go through that quick pop over to the game instead of going through the then they took your health long sequence. Your there we go. Yep, come on. I thought it was it was doing its hiccup like it was going to. There we go. Okay. It's trying to load through. Being a little bit slow loading in, but it's loading in. Okay, give me a moment. Almost there. Okay, we are back. <laughs> All right, I didn't mean it to take so long. I need to move my. I keep what wrong thing? I keep meaning to move this back, and I keep forgetting. Move it back where it's supposed to be. Okay, so as you can see i'm back in my normal base and we have all kinds of good whoa these things sometimes have mine and we have all kinds of different little goodies but right now this is my base and i'm in the process of redesigning it and i got all these little acer goodies so uh my house has been redesigned and i told you like i said i forgot to put the, so, what I had, I put in here for now, <laughs> and I will be putting a something over there to house it in, um, but everything else got put over here. So, with your, this is my berry, you can see she has three grand, and I'm not Going to be happy if she to uh, lose her. If I'm just gonna sit her and Dolly up out of the way. Quick. Yes, I have a little shoulder pit rolling around, but I'm going to take him off right now. Yes. Okay. So. With your battle pass, um, those of us that really need to get it done in a hurry, uh, some of us don't, some people don't like to cheat, but if you really need to get it done in a hurry, you can hop over onto your uh, solo game if you have been playing on a server and that's the only way you've been playing. Hop over into a solo game 
and you can take and hop over into a solo game uh, and you will be able to uh, take and play like an admin and be able to get rid of some of them. Now, the gathering ones, you're going to have to do like a plain old person. But uh, if you take and have and take and spawn you a thrall, or if you already have a thrall, like I have two of them because I run the authority as a war party. See if I can get both of them with me. You can take and spawn in something. I'm just going to call off one of the ones that I just did off the top of my head. You could go in, especially if you have Pippi. It's a lot easier if you have Pippi. Um, just put in the mod Pippi and you P-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, you know, like Pippi Longstocking. And then go to the spawn NPCs. I'll do it again. Admin panel, feet panel, spawn NPCs. And the Jaguar, I believe, is usually like five of them. So if you type in Jag, you'll want to go down to Wildlife Jaguar and hit Space. I mean, uh, do Shift, 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 shift. <laughs> and then click Jaguar. And it'll spawn five of them, and you can just send the girls after them, or yours. And you can even have the fun if you want to. Oh, sorry. My dogs are probably barking at somebody. <laughs> Delivering something. It's okay. They're just trying. They, they like to protect their parents. But, uh... That's how you would take care of one of them. Now, you can also take and with Pippi, if you don't want to, and sometimes you have a, uh, a thing with, I can't find it. There it is. Sometimes you can finish two of them at the same time because maybe you have a, uh, Maybe you need to skin the corpse, too. So, there you go. But with Pippi, you can also turn on a command that will tell you you can cleanse up your thing, and that way you can just turn them off. Sometimes you will need to take and kill humans. Well, instead of going to take and... You can do that as well. You just have to figure out which ones are which, um, that's where the, the Google comes in. I'm going to the, uh, uh, the Funcom wiki that we use for, uh, works really well because then you can also find out which ones are which in the panel, like for the dogs of the de desert. You can find out which ones are which. And you can go down and find out which ones you need. Or which ones you can use. They also have the battle pass uh, challenges in there. And you can click on it. I don't think it's going to be <laughs> valid after this. They're going to probably have to update it uh, after the second. But you can do this. You can hit space twice and kill them that way or if you'd rather kill them all on your own you can do it that way but uh doing it that way uh, sometimes you can get uh do it same times because the dogs of the desert are also humans and then sometimes you'll get three because you may have to harvest a corpse or sometimes it might be four you might be lucky and get four and you, you need to kill a certain faction 
harvest that corpse and maybe you need to harvest a corpse as well with you know a religious tool or something so maybe the harvest the religious tool might also get you a harvest corpse sometimes you know but then you also have to take and go places so if you want to go somewhere you can still pop, you can see i've popped all, all over the place you can take and right click and control and just pop where you need to go instead of having to run that way which makes things easier like you could go to new Asgarth, or you can go over to the black garden or you can go to the forgotten city or to Mechamosis Spire and pick up those little places when you need to. That's the easy way to take in uh, get rid of your battle pass and take care of it as quick as you can. I think mine was only halfway done with it when I started trying to finish it and it finished I, I got it finished in like three days four maybe I'd, I'd have to check but yeah it gives you a pretty few nice nice pieces to go with your seer at, and you can finish up a tavern uh, so that's how you can do that um, for your purges you might want to uh, get some gas arrows uh, and let me I don't have any out right now and I've got to get some of those done so let's see gas arrows you will need yeah I've stocked up those because I use star arrows all the time the noxious gas arrows you'll want to make gaseous orbs and iron hit arrows so you'd want to go stocking up for the gaseous orbs and let's run inside. Alright girls, you can stop following. Hold on. Okay. And then you then you'll need forms. Maybe I'm not finding them the right way. I'm just not. Maybe because I have that not going to pop right or something. I, maybe because I have a mod it's just kind of off or something. I'm not sure. Here we go. Craft at the fireball cauldron. That's why. Okay. I have one right here. So. Huh. That's an improved fireball cauldron. The other one around? Yeah, I have a crocodile on my veranda. <laughs> um, hmm. I know I've got that. Hmm. 
because it says I See, now out here, it's letting me put up why that one's, this is a greater fireball call than that one's an improved, so that's probably the problem. Okay, so we need water and puffball mushrooms. I don't have any puffball mushrooms, so I need to go find them. Right now, I'm not going to go look at the moment. I don't know where any are. Go and write that down and find it for later. Right now, I'm just going to pull up about 50. See, that's another thing with Pippi. You can put down how many you need. And then I'm going to put this over in there. Orbs. I've got some water orbs around somewhere. I've got everything everywhere right now. I haven't finished moving everything. There's a water filled flask. Yeah. There's another water filled it is, nah. So we have 12 of those and one of those. Water filled flask, I know I need my core. Just gotta find everything everywhere all the time. Oh, I got some in there. I am going to take and do something a little easy so I don't have to do running around so much. Throw one of these right here real quick. I don't have to keep running back and forth for y'all. So I do this, that, order. Grab those real quick. Well, oh, as quick as it'll let me. Now we're gonna see how many of these I can make. I don't have any iron in here. Got iron around somewhere. Oh, I know where my iron down. That sounds over in here so and see this is me running around making stuff all the time see sometimes you don't have to completely do things all at once like that and I'll show you why I'm gonna go ahead and put those there those in there. Those making. That out. Put these gas ones in here. And gas. And you see it's got that cog there. It will make those for that. Make that. You hit craft. And it should make those. Why is it not making them? What am I missing for the iron head arrows? I've got that, I've got that, and I usually it makes things. Here we go. Now it's making them for us. So it's going to make the arrows first, and then it'll make the orbs. And there's your arrow. We will take and grab these and go put them in here. 
and and that's how you make the gas arrows. If you don't know, you need the puffball mushrooms. So start by, and those will help with your purges. Um, those uh, gaseous orbs, explosive orbs, explosive arrows. Just make sure you don't put the explosive arrows too close to you or too close to your. You don't want to throw. You want to take the explosive arrows far out and explode them far enough out that it will detonate there at their camp, but not close enough that it's going to detonate and hurt your thralls. Uh, you might want to and uh, if you build any golems don't build any golems that have the gas in them unless you want to put those outside your base because don't do like a friend of mine did and forget to put your mask on <laughs> and uh, your golems kill you because of the gas Okay, the other thing is with, and I'm going to take, and I have plenty of what I need. Yes, yeah. I can handle myself without them. Um, let me, uh, wait. I'm going to be a pain in the rear end. That's something else we have. We have lights that we don't have to carry, but things don't. That's if nighttime lasts a while, and sometimes it doesn't. So, uh, sticks and insects and stuff. Let me explain. I'm going to pop down to the newbie area real quick. I gotta get out of the trees. Alright, so usually you just want to pick these up. Well, now you're going to have to because you see how I can pop it now with the pick and it will uh, pick it up, the little stones. You're not going to be able to do that anymore. You're going to have to actually pick them up. Sticks, same way. If you have a hatchet, you have a hatchet. You can't just use the hatchet and pick up the stick. You're going to have to pick them up. They have changed things like that now. Now, uh, I think somebody has said that they had been using, possibly using a, uh, get it on. I have never used a uh, skinning knife on bushes or or anywhere to uh, get insects, but you're going to have to use a sickle. You know, um, the eggs. don't want to uh, be attacked. Actually, I don't even think they can see me, so... Uh, I think one of the other things for eggs... Get past me. Yay, he can't see me. Was... Was... 
Tony had said something maybe about sickles or it was a uh, something about using something for sickles. I can't remember what it was for the eggs. Gather eggs, but I've never done that. I've always just picked them up. But whatever the extra thing was to get eggs, you're not going to be able to do that either. You're going to have to chop them up. Uh, something else to get extra lotuses too. You're going to have to use... Uh, you're going to have to use... Ooh! Hey, looky here. Why don't we just see me after I come out of uh, that mode. He doesn't even see me. Dude. And I wasn't even cloaked. <laughs> He didn't even care. So, let's see what's on him. That's just gonna give me hide. Pull out the pick. Oh, I got a, a kit. That was interesting. A six advanced armor kit. Interesting. Let's see, there's six, there's three eggs. Oh look, it's Easter weekend and there's a bunny. I don't have chocolate so I can uh, give him chocolate. Oh, a lot of rabbits for Easter weekend. So oh, that's that part. If you want the extra, you're going to have to. If you want the extra of these, you're going to have to use your sickle. You're going to have to use the appropriate tool for each thing. Now, I've always used sickle on these. I don't know if you're going to be able to use the sickle on those anymore. I've used the sickle on those. I've also used uh, a hatchet because it was a tree type thing. I don't know if it gives you anything. There's another one. Not the same one. I don't know if you get more vines off of it if you use the sickle than you do if you don't. But we will see. I didn't get hardly any vines off of it. And I used that. So we will see. If I can find another one. And we will see if we get more vines off of it. Using... There's one. Okay, so we didn't get that many off of it with that, so. Okay, so you can get just vines off of that if you use this. And we all know that the vines turn into one. Alright, so. Alright, so that's something I didn't know. I'll have to make. Had a little bit of a hiccup there. That's something that we all learn. Okay. So that's for that. Um, I would suggest making sure you mark your areas that you know of 
Uh, and I'm going to show you those areas and, and go and get them marked. Because me, I know I need some aloe. Oh, well. I know I need aloe at home. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to put myself back in God mode so you don't have to deal with me getting attacked too much. But, alright, so we know that we need this place is where uh, the is Jebel Sack the uh, place is going to be for uh, the hunter the sacred hunt this is where it's going to turn up. And then right here is where you're going to want to make a mark at. Oh, well looky here. We come up in the middle of some kind of ritual. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. It's supposed to kill them or something? I've never seen it before, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'll just take a moment and see what happens. Actually, those are devotees. I don't have one on me. I'm going to have to grab one. I didn't have one on me. Her though, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. But there's that. I know I have some chains around here somewhere. Yeah. Let's take him back to the house because that is one of the ones that we have been talking about. It's supposed to be good. And this is the easy way to get him back to the house. And you will jump over into here. And he should be done. No? Huh? Usually it is, but I don't have any. I don't have any, uh, up in there for him, that's fine. Now I gotta go cook. <laughs> I don't have anything in there. Uh, I don't remember what that is. Oh, what's cruel? I don't remember what gruel is. I think I actually remember now. It means I gotta go outside because I don't have any inside. These things here were some of the best things they could have given us. Nope, wrong one.
That was some of the best things Duncom gave us. Those storage things there. Yeah, I left too much food in there last night. I think I'm right on that. Yep, there we go. Get out that out container. And if nobody knows what the gibbet is, it's a little tiny version of. Now he's done. A little tiny version of the uh, I'm just going to stick him right here for right now. It's a tiny version of huh. let's see what he's got going. So he's got a nice vitality bonus. He's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, he'll he'll do pretty good. Okay, so he like said right here is we'll want to make a mark. I still gotta figure out what the heck that was. Uh, oh, big dude. Can't see. Can't see. I'm just going to do you this. a blood moon bee. Ooh, my uh my team's gonna love this. Watch me run out of arrows because I didn't have that many on me. Like I said, I'm going to run out. And we had one mess up on the server the other day. It didn't want to. Yeah, it's going to do it here, too. I'm going to have to reset the server later. After stream. This, it looks like this one's going to... Uh... Yep. It is. Why they've been doing that on server here, I don't know. Anyway. Here. In this spot here. Right here. You will find uh, you will find the uh, uh, right in through here anyway. One or two little spots here. You will find the. I wonder if this will work. Oh, it's cleaned up from over there now. 
Uh, you'll find... Yeah, it's gonna be right here because that's the rock I ran up on. Uh, you'll find the rhino. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna mark this here. Oh. Rhino. Now we know the rhino will be there. I'm going to reset the server afterwards. We yeah, have not been able to figure out why it's doing that with those yet. Look, there's a chest right here. Or a box or something. I found flotsam. <laughs> That's different. Okay. That's the rhino. Up here. Right here. Here, you will find the mammoth. And it's going to actually be exactly right here. I'm going to mark... Oh, I just respawned right where I was trying to mark. And you're going to want to come right here for it. And that's where you'll come for that one. Now, next one, so that's the mammoth, that's the rhino, and the next one here. Next one's over in here somewhere. I'm just going to stick it here. I'm just going to stick the mark here. For Panther. Because it's right here on the beach somewhere. It's right in through here. And then you'll bring all that stuff back over here and get that taken care of. But that's your three places for your three big people for your big things that you will need. So. Uh, that's what those will be for. Got that. We've done those. Um, as you can see, like I said, I am um, my my house is here, which is right next to Iron Breaker Ridge, Rhino Horn Ridge, the abandoned silver mine, Mob Bone, Eliquatra Rise, the Oak Aces Pit, and there. Um, one of my team is built over in here somewhere. Uh, but back home. I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Let me show you one of our one of my favorite little things that we do have called our garbage disposal. 
If there's stuff that you don't want, like, I don't want these. And I don't want that. I've got a ton of things, so I'm not going to keep those. And I'm not going to keep the dry plant things. And I've got a ton of feral flesh. I'm not going to keep that. Can't do anything with the bone arrows. And I can get rid of all these. I don't have a compost thing yet, so. And oof, it's gone. I'm not dropping it anywhere. So let's see. What goes in here? I can put vines in there. That's all I have for it. Uh the skinning, so skins will go in here. Have anything else? That one. Stones. He thinks stone wise goes in there. Including brimstone and black ice. And then this one. And I don't have anything that can take those. Those go over here. I've got to really take and go through and finish redoing everything. Or re. putting things back where they need to go. Black blood, oh. That's going to be nice. Now, something else we have here. Of course, I don't need that. Uh, ooh, a serpent man mix. And then I'll have to take all of these out and put those where they belong. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rabbit right now, so I will stick him over in here. How about this one? If I can't use it right now, I usually throw it in somewhere. Yeah, I know. I run you in circles sometimes. Alright, let's go put the meat up. The other and stick it in the... Ooh, that's gonna fill up. Shouldn't have made that. There, there's plenty there. I need like a box to put other stuff in here. I have it. It's got an upstairs with a bathroom. And uh, a big bedroom. And then a balcony. I haven't finished decorating the upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I could have put the bunny in there. Like I said, I haven't finished at all with this thing. But I'm sure we will be done with some of it tomorrow, and we can show you purge stuff. I will do a little purge thing tomorrow. We'll do 
we'll go over big thing of a purge tomorrow. I'll do a mini purge base and we'll go over purges tomorrow. How's that sound? I think you might be happy with that. Be going over something fun for a change instead of just prattling on about nonsense. But I'll pull up, uh, I'll do a small purge face. Uh, and that's what we'll go over. And then we will uh, figure out something like that going forward. What is next up on our list after that? But uh, we will have a... Uh, A little purge thing tomorrow to see what's going to it won't be this base it'll be a little one because this one's not purge ready yet <laughs> definitely not purge ready it'll be a little one on the side um uh and uh i may have some of this one finished and oops I don't know what happened there. I may have this one mostly finished and I'll let you see some of it too. But, uh, trying to think if there's anything else that. I know they told us that you're going to have those wonderful little finishing moves. Those are always fun to see. I went through doing a whole bunch of, I went through the dogs of the desert area, just killing them. And my husband wanted to know why I was laughing like crazy. I said, I felt like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Finish him! <laughs> and I'd smack one of them and blood would go everywhere. It was just gory and hilarious to me. Just about, I pulled out as many different types of weapons as I could and played around with them. It was so fun and so funny. Um, but uh, let's see if we can find some to play with. And we'll see if we can get some good gore going on. How's that? Okay, somewhere. There's somewhere around in here. I didn't go too far enough this way. Yeah, I know. I'm running around in heels and sand. That's just not really... I have no ammo still. <laughs> I still didn't pick up any ammo. Give me a second. I know. I should have picked up ammo while I was at the house. And I didn't. Where is my usual ammo? I'm always encumbered. What are you talking about? Are you going to hear her talk here in a moment? <laughs> okay, I know I'm not cloaked. What's going on? I'm not cloaked. Why are they not seeing me? That's weird. And he said, Sam. All right, something's just off.
That was the, you see the light? That was my uh, little shoulder pad. I forgot to put my stuff on. attention to me. I'm not cloaked. Hey, I got a new truncheon. That's irritating. Hey. Yes, I hear you. Oh, now she's found another one. What am I listening to? Hey, listen. Maybe we need to find a bigger, a bigger hey, thing. Listen. They're not paying attention to me, so it won't be no fun. As she's around somewhere, she'll come back. I'm just gonna take her off that way. I don't have all right. I think I know what can here. I think it only happens with the others. It doesn't happen with these. I think it only happens with humans. Cause heck, he ain't even paying attention to me. Well, this is no fun. He's not paying attention to me. no fun unless that's no fun i don't know why they're not doing that i guess well it was my server maybe after after things are it'll fix itself but that's no fun trying to show y'all that if it's not gonna work No, it's not. It's not gonna work because it's not. I don't have any. No fun. No fun at all. Even turning God mode off, it wouldn't. It wasn't working. I know that much. I'm gonna step out and try something. I 
don't need to, I can always step back in. I can always, uh, Yeah, he's not, he's not seeing me either. Reset the server uh, later after uh, after this. And this is just weird, really, really weird. Usually, even if I'm in you know, admin mode. Wait, I wonder if that's why. I wonder if that's why. Okay. I got too much on me. Get rid of some of this stuff. never know why something is not paying attention to you. I don't know if any of this stuff can fit in here. Way too much stuff on me. Do not need him out right now. Not enough space in there. Or in that one. They belong in there anyway. Yeah, he needs food anyway. There. He still didn't take enough off of me. I know that's not something he's supposed to be eating, but I'll put it right there anyway. He can still have too much on me. 
east. I'll be building anything right now. I'm going to do something. It's going to want to put it back. Those there. We'll put that there. This there and this there. And I can pick those back up in a second. Here. Alright, let's see if that Let's see if that's why they're not paying attention. Watch that be why it is. Yep, that was it. Ooh. That was why they weren't paying attention to me. Okay, so. We don't want me dying too much, do we? Do I have any healing potions? Yes, I do. We'll go see how much I can actually not die. Okay, so let's go see. He's back. Not those two are anyway. I'm usually a better shot than that. Okay, I must be hitting them too hard. Must be hitting them way too hard somehow. Six and a die there, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
Yeah, you don't stay over there, dude. There we go. Let's pull out an iron sword. <laughs> oh. And mommy always dies, huh? Mommy always dies. Because mommy needed shield. Mama needed a shield. Mama's gonna get a shield. There we go. So you can say something's wrong. My stuff's not near. Yeah, that's neat. Usually, they do my fighting for me. I had to have him fighting. Okay. So, uh... Huh.
Hey, gummy. I hit my Windows key about the time I needed to hit my control key, and I had a problem hitting my. Yeah, well, we all know that we like to see me die. Yeah, we like to see me die. I'm talking to my dog, by the way. I know I have my stuff. It's just there somewhere. Where is my... Where is my... Uh... I think maybe I do need to take her with me. Take Molly. Yeah, food. She's Yeah, that's not gonna work. I've got to figure out what's going on and why I'm not down the way. It's just not working. Mountains up. I gotta work on that a little bit better. house because I'm overweight again. Hey, sit down.
don't know what I'm going to play with with these yet. But yeah, that's about, about what we have to do. We've talked about those. We will go over more of the expanded purges because, of course, you know, golems, those are fun because they are the expanded, the exploding headed golems. Not the normal ones, the ones with the exploding heads. They are quite fun. A little bit fun there. And, uh, I haven't had a chance to go up against the sorcerer yet. That's the, uh, Stygian champion, the thieves, and the golems. I haven't taken it up high enough to go against the sorcerer yet. So, um, I've the sorcerer is supposed to throw down uh, uh, star metal at you. Speaking of star metal, you want to make sure you stock up on star metal. Not the bars, but the ore. Because the ore is what you use in the uh these right here are actually what you use in the ballista as one of its uh charges You'll definitely want to stock up on it. Start hunting real quick now. And I think I will be nice and uh, get my guys up in north and trigger a couple for them. That way they can go ahead and harvest as much as they want. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you don't know a good way to uh, break open a thing of star metal is to use an explosive arrow on it. Pops it right open. Learned that a long time ago when I started playing. Um, yeah, we will work on a, I have room on, uh, there, mine's a little bit off to one side from where the other one was. So I have a little bit of room. I could put a small purge right here. I'll build a small purge base right here and we will do a purge tomorrow. And uh, see how <laughs> we can get it in two hours. Uh, but yeah, we will do that and see how many times I don't die. Now, since uh, it's a purge and we want to uh, see if we can get a sorcerer to pop, we will uh, take and put me in god mode. And just let the uh, thralls do the work. So, uh, I'll put it a little bit, a tad bit away from the base. And uh, we will go that way. See what we can do. Hopefully they will decide to leave my base alone. <laughs> I may put it over there in the area that way. But uh, once, the, once that's down, once I... 
tomorrow is over with, I will uh, take it down unless my uh, Red Nails team wants me to leave it up so we can run purges out of it and have fun with it. But, uh, I'll put one up over there. It's a ways away from my base and the base is going over here and not get in the way. I'll just put one right there for right now. Unless there's a different spot I can find for one. We will go over purges tomorrow and I will get you the actual diagrams of how I make that one too. I will make sure I have the numbers of how I make that one. So you know and can kind of duplicate it. And mine are not hard to build. they really quick to go over. So we'll go over that within the first few minutes. And we will start running purges after that. We'll see how many we can get run in so many few hours. But uh, I won't decorate it on the inside or anything. It'll be bare nails. Uh, except for thralls. Which will have all their armor and stuff on that they need to, to fight. And stuff like that. But uh, that'll be what we will do tomorrow. Is uh, our ramp up. Do what we can get. Yeah. We will have purge fun tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Purge fun. Pre chapter four purge fun. Yeah. Now remember, uh, I'm going to say this before I sign off. that uh, I want to make this a community for uh, not just Conan players. Um, I want to make it a community for gamers. Uh, uh, gamers that have any type of illness. I have epilepsy. Um, a couple of my Red Nails team have have other illnesses. But we, I want to make sure that uh, that uh, we all support each other in everything. So, if you have a game that you play and you want to have support in it with your illness, come, look in the bottom and there's Discord there. Log into our Discord server and say hello and we will take and talk with you and we will see what we can what we can do um there are many games that i already play besides conan that uh you may always you may play as well i haven't begun to start putting them all in my discord server yet uh but, uh, as I said, I want this to be a community for people that have illnesses, uh, that want to have a place to talk and support each other with those. So, uh, I will be happy to talk with you and 
get to know you and everything else. So that would be, that's my goal is to get something like that to happen. Uh, and I really want that to happen. And hopefully my Twitch channel will not have just one or two watchers, but they'll start chatting soon, too. And then we'll, we'll have fun and grow and be close and all that. And so... I hope that things happen and have fun with us. So. As I said, tomorrow we will go over the purges. I will get all these. Uh, I'll get a small purge base built. Won't be nothing fancy. Just a little one. And then after it drops on Tuesday, my Red Nails team and I work furiously before Saturday to see what we can uh, make sure our server is straight before <laughs> before the stream on Saturday. And uh, I'll see what I can come up with with a video as well. I know I'm behind on getting videos out, but I've been trying to make sure everything is good here for you guys, too, when you decide to come and join our happy little family. So we are going to be happy to have you when you decide to join the family. So, summarization, get your battle pass done, make sure you uh, stock up on whatever you need to get stocked up on that you use regularly, uh, and uh, make sure that everything is tight and straight. Uh, You'll want to make sure that you get some more really good thralls, berserkers, devotees. Uh, find some of your favorite ones. Um, uh, and uh, that's about it. And. Uh, Keep on gaming and uh, make sure you always, always, always play your game your way. Have a great one.